All right, we start with U.S. with less than three weeks to go for presidential elections. Okay, this is Sri Lanka. SLPP party candidate Namar Rajapaksha has launched his poll manifesto pledging clean governance. Speaking at the ceremony to launch his election manifesto, Rajapaksha said his government could eradicate fraud and corruption within three years by introducing digitization, competitive bidding for government procurement processes and converting the gray economy into a white economy. But the bold claims are not helping Namar Rajpaksha. The son of former Prime Minister Mahinda Rajpaksha is currently not a frontrunner in the upcoming 2024 presidential election. Given that his uncle, former President Gotabaya Rajapaksha, was at the helm in 2022 when he fled Sri Lanka after the country spiraled into an economic crisis. The once prominent Rajapaksha family has been unpopular for several reasons. They were widely blamed for the severe economic crisis in 2022 that was characterized by rampant inflation, food shortages and a crippling foreign debt crisis. Many Sri Lankans hold them responsible for policies that led to the country's financial collapse. The family has faced numerous allegations of corruption and nepotism. They are accused of using their political power to enrich themselves and their close associates. The Rajapakshas have also been criticized for undermining democratic institutions, centralizing power and stifling dissent. That has led to widespread public dissatisfaction and protests. Rajapaksha's tenure was also marked by concerns over human rights abuses, particularly in the final stages of the civil war and in the years following.